the world spins around, goes up, goes down. It's supposed to be cold for two days, and then it's going to get hot for another three days. And if your happiness depends on the world, that's the kind of thing you've got to put up with, is the ups and downs. And the Buddha said there's something better than that, something beyond the ups and downs. And it's funny, a lot of people living in the world says, well, that, that sounds pretty pessimistic. Isn't the world, doesn't the world have its nice times? Well, it does have its nice times. But then they turn on you. And then they turn around, they're nice again. And then they turn on you again. And if you make your happiness depend on things like that, then you're going to go crazy. So what you've got to do is find a place inside that you can re rely on, something you can depend on that doesn't go up when they go up and doesn't go down when they go down. This is why we work with the breath. The breath has its ins and outs. But the ins are no better than the outs, necessarily. But you can adjust them to make this a good place to stay. And then you can dig deeper down into the mind to find something that's really of great value. But it's only when you're here solidly that you can do the proper digging. Otherwise, you dig a little here and dig a little there and never get very far. And then you say, oh, there's nothing down there. It's because you haven't stayed and really looked for long periods of time. Which is why it's important that we meditate long periods of time. So you can really see. Otherwise, you just get a little tiny taste. And sometimes it's a good taste, and sometimes it's not a good taste. And it seems to be just as unreliable as things outside. Well, you have to make yourself more reliable as you stick with the breath. And if you're not doing formal meditation, then make sure you stay with the breath as you go through the day. When walking meditation, talking, eating, cleaning up, whatever the activity, try to be grounded inside. The more reliable you are, the more reliable a happiness you're going to find inside. So when you're disappointed by the ups and downs of things outside, well, tell yourself the really problematic ones are the ones that are going up and down inside your own mind. We say that things are inconstant and stressful. The real problem with inconstancy is the mind's own inconstancy, the stress it creates itself. There's a, someone wrote a letter from Singapore one time for a John Fuang talking about how his practice was just simply watching things being inconstant. And John Fuang told me to write back and say, well, things out there are being inconstant. That's not the problem. Turn around and look at, well, who's saying they're inconstant? Look at that one. See, it's inconstancy. And then learn how to make it more constant. That's when you find a happiness you can trust. <laughs>